Right, hi lads and lasses, and welcome to Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave. Today's video, just back off holiday, so we're going to do a little bit of a review. Today, what we're going to do, a little bit of a darts review. You know, you know my reviews, I like to keep them about the dart, not really. I wouldn't say we're not interested in the width of the barrels and the length of the barrels and what have you, but... What I like to tell you about is what they like to live with, what I think they like to throw. We have a little bit of a close-up look at them and what have you, but nothing too in-depth. These are a little bit more easy going. If you want all the technical details, you've got so many out there. You've got Neil's Darts, you've got the Darts Review Channel, you've got Scottish Lads Does Darts Reviews, uh, the Scottish Cowboy, he does Darts Reviews. Nearly all of them do, and they do a lot more in-depth ones than I do. What I like to tell you about is what they like to chuck what I think they're going to be like to own. So the darts we've got today, absolute crackers, Johnny Clayton. These are special Johnny Clayton ones because these are the gold ones. They're from Red Dragon. I've only got one set of them, so if you want them off eBay, get on there, get them bought. I don't think you'll find many of these about at the price that I've got them at. Right, so what we're going to do, without further ado, is get over to the bench and let's have a close look at them. Right, so here we are over at the bench and what we're going to do is open the box now and have a look at the Johnny Clayton darts. As you can see, these are some gold coloured ones looking through the little window in the pack there. Just go through it like we normally do. It's the 90% tungsten, the 22 grams and the steel tip darts. They're made by Red Dragon and they are Johnny Clayton design darts. Right, so first of all, packaging. The stuff that we like to see, it's Quite a lot of his cardboard, so obviously recyclable. The only problem we have with this type of cardboard is obviously it's plastic coated. So what the implications for recycling on that is, I'm not absolutely sure, but I think it's a lot less recyclable. The side we've got this foam packaging, which again, I'm not a massive fan of because this definitely can't be recycled. It's uh, foam based and I think basically it's just landfill. Right, now we've got the darts on here. And I've got to say, these are really nice. They look, to me, I'm going to say they look very classy, these. I'm a bit of a, I like gold. I like blingy stuff. But what I like about these is they remind, remind me, if you remember back, the ones of us that are old enough to the old, and they're sort of like very iconic. Black and gold uh, just is timeless, basically. It's like black and white which is what I've got my bathroom in. It's all black and white and it's very, very timeless. It never seems to um, go out of date or get old or looks dated, if you know what I mean. And these are very similar to that. The actual um, barrels themselves, we'll get one out and have a proper look at it. We've got a standard medium length point in chrome, chrome effect, whatever you want to call it. Then we've got a, a really, really nice shaped barrel. I like, I really do like the shape of this because it's effective for grouping and it's also effective for deflecting. We've got a nice graduated front to the barrel coming up to the first cut. And obviously there we've got one, two, three, four small ring cuts. So they will provide grip for front grippers and if you've got your finger lying across the front of the actual barrel itself, which is what I do. Then we're coming on to here and we've got some double cut rings. And these double cut rings, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight double cut rings. So we've got a nice mid section of the barrel there with good grip for center grippers. I think the only ones that this is not gonna serve very well are rear grippers because again, to balance it off, and I like the way they've done this because the cone at the back You've still got like a, not a very pronounced cone, but a slightly pronounced cone coming back towards where the actual um, stem screws into it. And again, we've got the four single cuts in there. Slightly above that, you've got the RD for Red Dragon down to the Nitro Tech stems. And those tie in really nicely because we've got, again, running on with the theme of black and gold. So they're a really nice dart. I actually, I, I, I've never thrown... Johnny Clayton darts before. This is the first time I've ever thrown a set of Johnny Clayton's. So in the next bit, hopefully, we're going to find out how they chuck. Right, so because I want to preserve these, what I've done 
is I've just placed the flight underneath as you can see here so you can see the logo on it you can see exactly what it would look like if it was actually on the dart itself but as with all the darts that I have I don't want to um, throw the darts with the original flights and stems on them so if you do decide to buy them off me or you do win them in the raffle they're as close to being brand new as possible so without further ado let's go and have a chuck of them right so we're over in the chucking section now we've built the johnny clayton gold darts up really nice set of darts these they feel really good in the hand i've not chucked them yet but i've actually obviously taken them out screwing the shafts in and what have you you get a, an idea of what they feel like and I've, I, I like the grip it's about i'd say a 2.75 to 3 across the board so quite a good grip obviously a little bit more of an aggressive grip for the center grippers than there is for the front or the rear grippers but I'm sure they'll they'll chuck perfectly fine I'm sure they will right so what we've done is we've made them up with some nice short carbon shafts exactly the dynamite Dave set up all they are same 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 length shafts and everything same size flights I've just put some of the dynamite Dave flights on right so here we go first ever chuck with these let's have a see what we think about them Right, so first impressions, first three darts, straight out of the box, they feel a bit flighty, they feel um, a little bit light, sort of skittish in the air when you throw them, they feel like they move very, um, they move excessively in the air, but let's see if we can get that under control. Two on and one away. Try for a double top with the last one there. Yeah, getting a little bit better now. Alright, so that's the initial of the first three visits. What do we think of them? The grip is nice. What I like about the grip is it's not massively aggressive, like I say, 2.75 to 3, but there's quite a wide um, gap between the double cut, the ring's a double cut, but in between the double cut ring, there's quite a big um, gap for your skin to sink into. When you grip the dart, you can feel your fingers dropping into the actual um, cuts themselves. So I like it, they're quite controllable like that. The only thing I've found is, I don't know whether it's my flight and stem combination, but they do feel a little bit wayward, if you know what I mean. They don't go exactly where I want them to. But that might uh, change over the next few visits. So what I'll do now is we'll go quiet and we'll see if we can do a bit of scoring with them. Right, so here we go. Yeah, there you go. See, got control of them now. Three or four visits in and we're... Uh, we're starting to get a little bit more control over them getting the arm speed right so there i think we've got a eight you think it's an 83 it is it's 83 but the second one is just above the 60. so yeah quite happy with that so like i say now what we'll do is we'll just do a little bit of scoring for you Second dart at your first dart flight, and then your third dart at your first dart flight, and there you go, straight out the bat, first thing in the morning, 180.
180. Two or three visits. One hundred and forty. Totally live filming this lads and lasses, totally live filming. One hundred and forty. And again. visit something like that. Two 180s, two 140s, that's the sort of standard you've got to play to. intermission there just to play you a little bit of a uh, 
an advertisement for my coaching services. And while we were away, what I've done is, as you might be able to see there, let's have a see if we can get that right in nice and close. As you can see there, I've put a black set of points in these. I was chucking them and I thought, I think they'd look pretty smart then with a set of black points in them. So if you buy the Johnny Clayton darts, you're going to get yourself a nice custom set of black points. Right, so here we go, we'll try again now, shall we? Right, everything's going, cameras are going and everything, so here we go. Eighty-five. Yeah, I like these black points because they're gripping the board better as well, so you get less dropouts. One hundred and forty. Not bad for the second visit back, is it, with a new set of points in? Yeah, come downstairs. Now I'm getting a little bit more used to them. They don't feel half as skittish. They don't feel like the um, when you throw them, they're going wibbly wobbly. They just feel it's just really strange, isn't it? They just feel a lot more stable. Yeah, just feel a lot better. I mean the points are slightly longer but that's about it and a little bit more metal in them but not much. Right, I hope you enjoyed that review, I hope you found it interesting as well as informative. If you did, don't forget, like, subscribe and share it on all your social media. The more um, depth of spread that I get, the better the channel gets recognised. Hopefully we'll get recognised by TV or someone like that one day, you never know. And uh, you never know, you might see Dynamite Dave on TV. It's all down to you guys. The more you share it, the more you put it on your social media, the more you finger, the more you put little reviews on and stuff like that for me, the better it goes. And don't forget, prize draw. In the prize draw, it's the 25th of the month this month. I missed it last month because I've just come back from three weeks worth of holidays. So, well, I've actually been off about four or five weeks if we include the time before we went on holiday. And obviously till now, I've just been being a little bit of a lazy boy and not doing much but like I say if you want to get involved in the prize draw buy anything you want off me go on to uh, my eBay shop it's dead dead easy just go on to eBay and type in um, David John L123 that'll take you through or search for any of the darts that you've seen me reviewing have a look down and you'll see you'll come down to, to mine it's David John L123 you can't miss that and there'll be a link in the description so get yourself over to eBay, buy anything that's on there, anything that you buy will be represented in the prize draw. So if you spend a tenner on practice sheets, you'll get 10 slips in the draw. If you spend 60 quid on a set of darts, you'll get 60, quid, 60 slips in the draw. Simple as that. If you spend 250 quid with me, you'll get 250 slips in the draw. Simple as that. And we're going to have a big one next month. As I say, last month, because I was on holiday, we missed it. I didn't actually do a draw. And I never let that sort of like slip by. I always make sure that I make up for it. So this month, we're going to have a minimum of two major prizes. Right, so that'll be on the 25th of this month. It's my birthday on the 24th, so it's going to be a, another good week, hopefully. I won't be away, so I'll definitely be doing the draw this month on the 25th, definitely. I might even do it on the 24th, but I'll give you plenty of notice of that. Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, don't forget, plenty of thumbs up. Plenty of likes, loads of comments. The more comments, the better as well. Tell us if you like these Johnny Clayton darts. Tell us if the Dynamite Dave Way has worked for you. Every good message and what have you get some slips in the draw. Might not be as much as if you bought, buy stuff off me. But I'll always, for every good review or every good thing that you put message down and what have you, I'll stick you some slips in the draw. Right, so thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, lads and lasses, you will only ever get out of this game what you're prepared to put in. And always, 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 total to the yucky.